Oh, hi everyone. Lately I've been receiving quite a lot of emails from people asking what I think of the new photographs from LRO, the ones taken at 25km altitude. I'll be happy to discuss those, but first, I'd like to show you something from LRO that has been released since then. A new image of the Apollo 15 landing slide has been released. What makes this one special is that it has an oblique view of the location, rather than looking straight down. According to the caption on the LROC site, it has a resolution of 1.03 meters per pixel, about the same resolution of the Lunar Orbiter spacecrafts that photograph this exact same area prior to the Apollo missions. I've said it before and I'll say it again, despite all the hype that the LRO would ultimately prove that the landings were real, it has been doing a much better job of proving the exact opposite. Such is the case with this image. So far, we've had cases of shadows pointing in the wrong directions, uneven spreading of sunlight across the surface, objects illuminated in shade, and now this. The sunlight is obviously coming in from behind the LRO, and yet, we are seeing the shadowed side of the lunar module and lunar rover. Flipping back and forth between the earlier overhead images, we can clearly see the tiny craters that the LEM is allegedly parked right next to. We also know the exact time and date that the two images were taken. The said information is available on the LROC site. Punching those numbers into Celestia, we find that the phases of the Moon are virtually identical. Therefore, the lighting conditions on the Moon were also identical. How can it be that when viewed directly overhead, the LEM registered as a bright white spot, and yet viewed from the sides, under the exact same conditions, it looks pitch black on the sunny side. Do I really need to say photoshopped? This brings us to another issue. If you recall back to my earlier video, it was claimed by many, including NASA, JAXA, and ISRO, that a bright area was photographed by Clementine, Cellini, and Chandrayaan-1. This region, or halo as they called it, was supposedly a soil disturbance by the LEM exhaust. But after comparison with the new LRO images, it turned out that all we were seeing was the illuminated portions of large impact craters, and ironically enough, these bright areas were also visible in the pre-Apollo photographs taken by Lunar Orbiter 5. In their article covering their Cellini pictures, JAXA also cited a couple of images taken from Apollo 15 before and after the alleged touchdown. JAXA claimed that the halo was only visible in the latter. For those of you who don't remember my debunking of this nonsense, here is a quick flashback. Time to put the so-called before and after photos to rest. We'll start with the before image. Notice how only one crosshair is present in the image. This means that it is a Hasselblad photograph, and it has been cropped. The Japanese were kind enough to give us the image number, AS15-87-11719. We punch that into the Apollo Archive website, and voila! As you can see, the photo was allegedly taken with the landscape and the camera level. Let's zoom into the area that JAXA showed us. The crosshair makes it easy to find. Flipping through these images, the landscape is clearly the same, although the brightness and contrast has evidently been adjusted in the JAXA release. Still, the halo is not visible. Now let's look at the aftershot. Image number AS15-9430. Well, actually, the correct number is AS15-P-9430. 
Unfortunately, the only copy I could find was this low resolution from the Lunar and Planetary Institute. Zooming in on the area of interest only distorts the picture quality, although we can just make out the bright halo. Just for the record, we know both of these images are faked, because they came from the exact same mission that was proven to be faked. But giving these two photos the benefit of the doubt, if the engine plume did not cause the halo, as we established, why does the halo only seem to appear after the vehicle supposedly landed? As we saw earlier, the image taken aboard the LEM was taken from an angle. If we look at the after photo, zoomed out, together with the subsequent photos that are part of this sequence, we see the camera is looking directly down on the landing site. That's why the halo only appears in one photo. If the crater was reflecting sunlight directly up at the CSM, the crater would indeed appear as a bright halo. But if viewed from the side, as the LEM photo allegedly was, the camera would not be in direct line of sight with the illuminated edge of the crater. Thus, the bright area would appear dim, or not as bright. Take this example that I shot out of an aeroplane window. Notice how the pond below appears white. But as we continue on the flight path, and thus continue looking at the same area from a different angle, we move out of direct line of sight with this reflection, and the brightness diminishes. So the bottom line here is, neither of these Apollo 15 photos show evidence of engine disturbance or soil discoloration or whatever, they are just two photos of a bright crater taken from two completely different angles. But of course, because the JAXA releases were cropped, we couldn't see that the photos were taken from different angles. It is extremely misleading, not to mention deceptive, for the Japanese to crop these images, supposedly taken at different angles in lunar orbit, and then pass them off as evidence for engine disturbance. The new LRO images confirm my theory. The enormous craters responsible for this halo illusion are obviously visible in both images. But the only photograph showing this bright illumination is the one taken looking directly overhead. Viewed from the side, the halo is nowhere to be seen. What, did the LRO travel back in time before the Apollo 15 landing? If so, then what is this pixel supposed to be? I thought NASA said it was the LEM. I think it should be clear to all that there is no soil disturbance at all at the alleged Apollo 15 site. This, coupled with these embarrassing inconsistencies with lighting, adds strong evidence that the Apollo 15 mission was a fake.